So, um, so obviously we're here for, um, you know, um, to raise money for the, um, the tragedy that happened recently happened in, uh, in, in Tonga, obviously, and um, Toro's done a great job in getting all the, the Islander boys based in, in Brisbane and around the parts to uh, come back together and have a run, and, um, you know, no better place to do it, to do it at uh, my old club East, and uh, like, I, I think South was uh, taken where Kefu used to coach but, um, and play, but uh, East was open, and, um, you know, they've given their field for, for after the sevens tournament for us to, to try and have a run around in. <laughs> yeah, well, um, the Reds and the Vintage Reds fortunately have granted us a, an opportunity to raise some money for, for the people of Tonga. Um, so obviously a charity match is the first thing we came up with um, and, and some people at Vintage Reds first um, um, thought of the idea and I thought and they brought it to me and I thought wow what a fantastic way it's a simple way uh, one that we're all used to so it wasn't too hard getting the two teams together um, and everyone's bought in and, and they're looking forward to it. Trying to try to drive ahead. Bregan again and Larkham. Kefu. Tai Kefu! Did he get it? That's the match winner! My family, well, my father uh, specifically, was one of the first Tongans to come to Tonga to play rugby, uh, specifically. Um, after the 1973 test against the Wallabies, uh, where they won, um, a club approached him to see if a group of the guys could come back and play. And, and so my father, along with uh, uh, three other guys, Faleo Tupi, Sione Mafi, and um, they were they were given an opportunity to come and play for the club, um, given a job um, and accommodation. So, um, you know, four guys from Tonga, very little English, um, you know, were thrown in, thrown into a little house, house where they shared in, in Brisbane. Um, so, you know, I thought it was incredibly brave of them. Yeah, well, both my um, father and, and, and um, um, Fatai Kefu came, you know, in the in the early 70s, and um, you know, um, we grew up knowing knowing the Kefu family for for a long time. Obviously, um, we sort of veered off and played for different clubs, both the dads and, and the sons. And um, you know, it's 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 pretty historic this game, like that we can come together and um, you know put this team together and. Um, you know, give back to, to rugby, but also give back to Tonga, who's who suffered a, such a great tragedy. And um, you know, with myself um, married to a Tongan, you know, I have to, I have to, uh, I have to have to play for the for Kefu's team, and uh, yeah, give back to Tonga, which I'm, I'm happy to do. It's a it's a great cause, and um, you know, it's great to see all the boys get back together for this. But well, Kefu reached out last week and told me if I wanted to have a run, and I was pretty stoked because at the end of the day, he's a, he's an icon that I, I looked up to for for many years. So I'm just glad to be here. By Adam Wallace Harrison and the big lock kicks downfield. Here's the chase. Digby Yuani needs to keep it on the fly. Yuani! Digby picks it up, scores for the Reds. That might be the ball game. Oh, have a look at this! It's the caterpillar! Tony Kefi set the, the benchmark where he led the way and opened doors for, for a lot of the police like m myself and just even meeting the, the big man, man he's just a, such a humble man and um, for me it's just you know what's, what's happening in Tonga it's just I'm just here to support in a way if I can if I can help especially someone like us uh, Tony Kefi man uh, I'll put my hand up no matter what. Totai and his family were attacked during a violent home invasion on Monday. His wife, Rachel, was the first to raise the alarm. Well, the family's doing really well. We fought back really well. My wife's still going through some intensive therapy, but she's improving every week, every month. Uh, she's not fully, she's not there quite yet. She's probably nearly got about 50% of movement in her hand and her arm, but the specialists have said, look, between six and 12 months, you should get close to um, 
what was normally functioning. So um, other than that, you know, everyone else is doing really well. Um, yeah, like it, it won't hinder me. Um, it's um, actually since since that um, incident, you know, I've been I've been trying to. It's probably given given myself a bit of a bit of a wake up to um, get a little bit healthier. Um, you know, eat better, um, um, have a look at what bit of nutrition and dropping my body weight. So. Um, yeah, hopefully, um, you know, I can I can stand up for, for for three or five minutes on the on on the weekend. All right. um, a lot of us have uh, you know been ten years retired or more, and um, it, it could be a tough game for us. We could be running in circles, but uh, as as uh, <laughs> if we, maybe if we put in a big hit, or we'll just give it to Trevi later. Give put in a big hit, and then uh, we might we, we might action up. I'm you know, happy to wear any jersey, you know, you know, to help the people of Tonga, and uh, you know we're all we're all very close to Tongans, Samoans, Fijians, Cook Islanders, wherever we're from and, and the community in Brisbane is so big now that uh, you know it's great to bring bring us all together and, and get the support and, and put back into rugby and put back into the Tonga community um, back home back back at, um, back in Tonga so yeah yeah look um, you know I know you Tongan people they're strong resilient and, and they'll get through this um, you know there's a lot of help coming um, and we'll do as much as we can there's not a short uh, fix and this will go on for years so we'll be there all throughout. Appreciate it. No worries bro. Get out there and start stretching. Oh man, oh, I'm not training. <laughs> Okay, so Josh Smith here, just uh, wishing all the people back in Tonga all the best in, in your recovery, but then also in uh, the way that you guys are um, staying strong and also uh, building up the city again. So, uh, you know, we're thinking about you back here in, in Australia and uh, we wish you all the best. Uh, Anthony Fianga from the Queensland Reds and Wallabies. Um, here, hoping and wishing you guys all the best back in Tonga. Uh, hoping that uh, we can send some of our, some of your much needed funds from our game uh, to support you back in the islands. Uh, we hope all the best and God bless.